Okay, here we're going to look at the plant hormone ethylene. If you don't realize that this one you may have experience with before, even if you didn't realize it was this particular hormone that was doing it. So to start off with, ethylene plays a role in fruit ripening. So here we have an apple, it's acid and sour, it's starch, it's got a lot of chlorophyll and pectin, it's hard and large molecules. When we add ethylene, it can activate a bunch of enzymes. You notice all these N in the ACE indicating that they're enzymes. And we can develop a ripe apple now, which is neutral in pH, has a lot of sugar instead of starch, less chlorophyll, less pectin, so it's softer and increased fragrance. Notice with our banana here. It's going from a green banana all the way to a ripe banana to an overly ripe banana. This is showing an increase in ethylene that is causing this ripening to occur. So ethylene, what is it? It's the smallest hormone. It typically exists as a gas. It's important for seed germination, fruit ripening, and abscission of leaves. And that means leaves get to, uh, basically fall off. We're noticing here our fruit ripening stage of a fruit and our ethylene um, concentrations here. Notice in the green or unripe stage, our ethylene production is quite low. Then we notice a large spike as we get closer to ripening. And at peak ripeness, we're noticing the highest amount of ethylene produced. And notice a slow decrease over time here. But we'll notice that those where the fruit is ripe, the ethylene is much higher than is when it is unripe. So looking at the functions of ethylene, well, I mentioned the abscission portion. It has a rapid diffusion. So ethylene can work in the leaf here. The abscission is going to be the sh shedding phase where the leaf is dropped off. Ethylene can actually block this kind of line here. It means block auxins um, from, from activating. Notice with a lot of hormones, there's interactions between them. I'm going to try to focus on just what these specific hormones do or what they're kind of known for. And ethylene, because it's a gas, can diffuse very rapidly. Also affects ad adjacent individuals. So we come up with this saying that you may have heard of one bad apple spoils the bunch. <clears throat> and this is because one bad apple is going to produce high amounts of ethylene. That ethylene is going to affect the adjacent individuals. So this one bad apple is going to cause the apples adjacent to ripen, which those are going to cause the ones adjacent to them to ripen, and then it's going to spread throughout the entire barrel or area here. We go back here to senescence and abscission. That's where the leaves um, senesce is where they're being broken down, and abscission is where they're actually falling off the plant. And that's ethylene is involved in that process. And at the end, the one bad apple spoils a bunch. Well, that's because of ethylene. One bad apple is going to ripen all the other apples. Now this can be used to our advantage. If you've ever had a hard peach or unripe bananas that you want to speed up the ripening, you may have heard you put them in a brown paper bag and let them sit for a day or two. That will speed up the ripening process. That brown paper bag is trapping in the ethylene, causing that fruit to ripen a little bit faster. So the brown paper bag is something you might have put fruit in, and miraculously they come out and they're softer, especially peaches and nectarines. Well, that's because of the ethylene production that's being um, kept in a closed, confined area speeding up the ripening process. Well, lastly, with ethylene, there's something called a triple response. And this triple response is indicated here. We have zero ethylene concentration in parts per million, and we're slowly increasing them. Keep in mind, all hormones work in very small quantities. So here, the triple response. Well, ethylene can inhibit stem elongation. We notice here as we're increasing our concentration, the elongation of the stem is being reduced. The stem is being thickened. Compare this stem diameter to this stem diameter, the highest ethylene concentration. And lastly, the uh, third part of the triple response, horizontal growth of the stem as the concentration of ethylene increases. We see that here. We see upright growth with no ethylene. And as we're increasing the ethylene, we're noticing that stem is slowly starting to bend to the side there. Um, it's also thickening. And we're noticing some other, um, the leaves are being um, different maturation rates there also. So hormones, despite their very small size and typically very small concentrations, can have a large influence on plant behavior.